Hey guys, this is Kate Kennedy and today I'm participating in a YouTube video hop. So I'm going to start with my layout here. I'm doing a 9 by 12 layout for my Project Life album. And I got the inspiration from this piece of paper from the new Hello Love collection from Crate Paper. And I just loved all those triangles, but I didn't want to use the whole sheet. So what I decided to do was to cut up some of the patterns and solid pieces and then outline them with a black marker so that they really show up. So I've just kind of arranged them here how I where I want them or where I think that I want them. I think I end up leaving them there. And I'm just taking a um, big brush pen from Faber-Castell and a ruler. And I'm uh, just outlining kind of thickly. That's why I use such a big pen all of these pieces. And I'm just using the ruler to make sure that my line is straight because I could freehand it, but then it wouldn't probably be very straight. So I'm just going to go through and do this to all of the little triangles and I want to make sure that I keep my composition because I liked how, where I had them so I just kind of put them back where they were. And now I'm going to go ahead and glue them down. I haven't stuck down my picture yet but I've also layered a couple of the pattern papers behind the picture also just so it has a little something and I orientated that bottom triangle that way on purpose because I wanted to have a place for a title and then I realized that I needed a little bit more color so I've decided to add in the little triangle of red and a little of pink and those I cut way down from the size of that they are in the pattern paper and I think that's a really good um, you know trick you don't have to keep it not really a trick but a tip maybe you don't have to keep it exactly the way that it is in the paper you could adjust it for your size layout or project and I also think it's a great way to get a lot of mileage out of, a, out of a piece of pattern paper and that it will look very different from a layout that you make using the paper in its entirety. So I think it's also always fun to mix up your papers and use the same products but get really, really different looks from doing mixing them up and using them in different ways. So now I'm just applying the um, base layer a uh, base of uh, layer of my layers for the photo and that's the only thing that I wanted to make sure was straight so I did use my t-square ruler to line that up and make sure that it was straight the paper that I use actually is not from hello love it's from um, seven paper which is an Ashley Goldberg design and I don't I think it kind of froze there for a second but now I'm applying some dimensional adhesive or foam adhesive underneath the photograph just so it has a little bit of height. It's I think it's the only thing that I apply with any dimension on this layout. Now I'm going to go through a bunch of different embellishments and I'm going to flip flop back and forth and I have been on some design teams in the past, well, specifically hip kit for a really long time and other ones and I, I've been working with kits for a long time and so this was kind of hard for me, harder than working with the kit because I had so much to choose from. Like I went through my stash and picked out a bunch of stuff and it took way longer to decide what to use than it did to actually make the layout. And I don't know if any of you have that struggle, but for me, it was definitely a struggle to work out of my stash after working with kits for so long. So maybe that tells me that I need to put some kits of my own together in order to get some stuff done quickly or else I'm going to be picking product forever. So I don't know, maybe if that's just something I'm encountering or if it's something that y'all have encountered too, let me know below so I will know if I'm not alone. <laughs> I also went through several different, different titling options here. I knew I wanted to make one of the words in like a scripty font and the title is going to be Boston Love or Love Boston. And clearly I didn't have a scripty word that spelled Boston, so I decided to do go with the love. And I picked this one from, I think it's from the Dear Lizzie um, foam thickers from the last collection maybe. But I, I do end up switching this and putting the love on the top and then Boston on the bottom. And while I love those thickers that are the kind of gold dipped ones, they just weren't really showing up against this white background. I think those are better suited for a colored background. So I am going to go back into my stash and get these Alex thickers from an Amy Tangerine line. I love these and I cannot find them in pink anymore. They have them in like the silver and white stripe, which I also love. But these pink ones, I super love and they're like sold out everywhere or maybe they just never had them. 
but I'm going to go ahead and line that up on my ruler also. I like my photos to be straight and I like my titles to be straight. Other than that, I'm pretty loosey-goosey with it. So I'm just lining those up on my ruler here to make sure that they're nice and straight. And I love this alphabet because I love that some of the letters are open and some are closed. So I did fiddle with those O's a bit to see the, what I liked aesthetically the best. Sorry, I just ran to get my charger because my computer was about to die in the middle of the voiceover. Um, and now I'm moving on to embellish, well, finishing the title. I thought about putting the love there, which I do like looking at it now. It's funny how when you make videos and what you, when you're making the layout, you think, oh, that doesn't really, that doesn't look good, and you move it, and you second guess it, but then when you're watching it back, you're like, oh, I should have left it there. It looked really good. Like, I really like the way the love looked in the center. I do like where I ended up putting it, which is up here on the top, but I did like it underneath Boston. So, I'm just going to fiddle around with that, it seems like. <laughs> I do a lot of fiddling, in case you haven't noticed. I, this, this layout went pretty quickly for me. The total, like, footage was about 23 minutes, so... I didn't speed it up as much as I normally do, and it's it's funny for me to watch because I'm I move like very slow apparently when I make layouts because this is sped up and I'm moving pretty slow. So I love these epoxy thickers from the Crate Paper Love Collection. I think that they're awesome, and I put this heart here. I think I end up moving it. I like I said I fiddle a whole bunch, but in the end I'm really happy with the way the the layout turned out. And I love making these 9 by 12 layouts. I, I think I like it better than 12 by 12, dare I say. But anyhow, I'm just going to fiddle around with some more embellishments. And you're going to see how it ends up in the final photos. I add some enamel dots and a couple of other things. Some strips to the bottom, things like that. Um, but I wanted to talk a second about the video blog hop. So down below, there's going to be a list of everyone that's participating. And this... Um, Video Hop is organized by Jen Gallagher. I'm sure y'all have heard of her and seen her videos. And if not, you should definitely check out her channel and all of her classes. She teaches tons of classes. She's like, y'all probably know who she is. And there are some amazing people on this hop. Like I am very, I feel very blessed to be part of it. Um, Celine Navarro. Hello. Amazing. She's a studio calico designer. She's from France. She's awesome. She's so cool. And, um, Jenny McCarvey, there, there's just, there's a ton, like there's, every, you'll, you'll probably recognize all of the names. So I really encourage you to participate in this hop. I, I'm sure they will all be wonderful and maybe my video will be first so it won't be compared to all the rest of them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, anyhow, check it out. It'll be super fun. I love these kind of YouTube hops. I think video making is such a great way to um, share your work with people. And I also encourage all of you, if you're on the fence about making videos to just, just do it. Just put one out there. You won't regret it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you have enjoyed this process video and kind of a different spin on using pattern paper and enjoy the close up photos. Thanks again. And make sure to check out all the links below for all the different videos. And there's also a link to my blog, which has all the information. Thanks so much for watching guys. And I'll see you all real soon. Bye.